Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm in the beautiful Texas Hill Country town of Dripping Springs, located west of Austin. And if you're looking on Highway 12, just kind of north of Wimberley and Dripping Springs community. Anyways, this is a beautiful custom home behind me. And yes, there is construction work going on today, so be patient. This house is a four bedroom, three bath, 3,700 square feet on four acres of property and the asking price once it's completed it's going to be just about 1.5 million so it's a big house it's a gorgeous house let's go check it out all right this is going to be a big beautiful home uh built by austin city custom homes and i mentioned it's right off of uh highway i mean uh highway 12. there's the road right there so yes there is going to be a little bit of traffic right in front of you this is not in an established community, so you're not going to have people around you. It is going to be on a well. You can see the well right, right over there. And, uh, but this is a beautiful, luxury, very modern custom home. Let's go check it out. All right, where I'm standing at right now will be the courtyard. You're going to have a two-car garage on this side and a separate garage over on this side a little breezeway walking into the main part of the house. Speaking of the main part of the house, let's head on in. If I can do it without falling on this construction rocks. Like I said, there is construction going on, so bear with me, but beautiful door as we come in. It's gonna be a beautiful, heavy, wrought iron, double door. And one thing I do like, this window, it's got a frosted plastic on it, but it's gonna open up to a beautiful area. So when you come in, you're not looking right at the living room, but man, if you put a pool out here, you'd have a gorgeous view right when you come in. On this side, it's gonna be your owner suite wing, but uh, let's go show you the main living area first. I mentioned it's gonna be a very nice custom home. You do have a powder room that's gonna open up to the uh, backyard entertainment space. Loving that faucet. And then you come into your main living space, the great room. Look how tall those ceilings are. That is super tall. It's gonna have a fireplace, kind of a little linear uh, fireplace. A little butler's pantry set up over to the side. A little wet sink there. This is gonna be your formal dining room. Tall ceilings, lots of light set up. And then your kitchen's kind of tucked a little way behind the fireplace. Once again, carrying that very modern, very clean look with the tall ceilings, lots of can lighting. I don't have electricity just yet, so be patient. If my uh, out-of-state buyer wants me to come back and shoot another video as this house is further on in the construction stage, I can. This is the pantry. That is a very large pantry. And this is coming into the laundry room over here just off the kitchen and the three-car garage. So you're going to have a large laundry room. Your little mud room set up right here. And I can show you the three-car garage real quick. Or that this is a two-car garage portion. Sorry about that. And it's going to have a door going to the uh, big side yard. There's the sink. Lots of cabinet space. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful uh, farmhouse sink. Look at that. That's where the sink's going to go. Looks like they're going to have a big uh, built-in spot for the refrigerator. So this is the view from the sink when it comes in of the fireplace. And then you can still see through the two really large openings. Speaking of openings, this door uh, is going to be the full wall sliding door to where you can open up this whole door and really double your inner living space on nice days and man we do have a nice day today 
We had a storm roll through last night and the weather is just gorgeous. Breakfast nook space with the French doors leading out to the patio area. Let's go ahead and check out the patio area real quick. So like I said, there are workers out here, so bear with me. But yeah, this is going to be a huge entertainment space out here. I don't know if video is capturing just how big this patio is. It's like they've got gas coming in for outdoor cooking. Hola. And this is the space where if I were to have this house, I'd want a pool coming through and you can see the big window that this is going to be just gorgeous out here. And you can always get creative on what you want to do because this is on almost four acres of property. I'm not going to walk all the way back there, but you can definitely see we've got quite a few oaks and cedars on this property. All right, let's head in. We do have two bedrooms back in this wing. All right, and these are good sized bedrooms. With big windows with their own private bath. Digging the tile work they've already done. Mud, yeah, tub, shower combination. And this bedroom will have its own little mini walk-in closet. Tall eight foot doors, high-end hardware. I like this bedroom here a lot because we're going to have views of the patio and the outdoor space. And these doors, windows will open up all the way as well. So it'll be kind of nice. And of course, going to have your own bathroom with an even bigger closet. Once again, tub shower combo. All right, let's go check out the owner suite wing of this house. Back by the breakfast nook. Another look at the kitchen. And then into the great room with these super tall ceilings. There's the main door again. Well, like I said, if that pool was right there, this would be the view of the pool. Coming into owner suite, this is where you would put your office. We want big windows, big fan. This is that breezeway I was talking about before, kind of showing. We got a little cedar going through there. No sense opening the door. That's just a garage back there. But lots of big windows in this room. Really great location for an office because you are right off the bed uh, owner suite bedroom. All right. And this is kind of a good example, kind of showing if you can see through the film, where they're building the rock facade. Uh, the rocks aren't structural, and there is a gap back in there. So the, the rocks or the bricks, they just look pretty. But you also, that's why you see weep holes on buildings. So water does get back there, it can drain out. But anyways, this is the bedroom, the master suite bedroom. Lots of light coming in here and big giant open windows like walk back to the back so you can kind of see 
So they've got the window open there, getting some air going through. And yeah, from here, like I said, if there was a pool in this space, you'd have a beautiful view of the pool and the guest partying on the patio. All right, the bathroom, you're gonna have dual vanities on both sides. Beautiful light fixtures. And coming into the tub space. Loving the grandness of this. That is very nice. Speaking of grand, you've got to have a grand shower. And there it is. So let's see. They got a rain. Yeah. They are going to put a rain head above. So, and a wand on the side with a big step. Beautifully done. And we gotta have a big closet because this is a luxury home and there you go. This is a wrap around closet. There's the door and we just keep going around. So yeah, definitely not gonna be short on closet space. And the water closet with plenty of natural light. So this home's a really nice home if you want to be out in the country a little bit with easy access to Wimberley and Dripping Springs. There, it's, I love the area. And Bee Cave uh, Road or the little mini town of Bee Cave is also about five minutes away. So you're going to have easy access to shopping and conveniences going northeast. And if you want to go straight south down 12, you can be in beautiful Texas Hill Country stuff. So you really got a lot of benefits in this area because yeah, Dripping Springs is just six miles away and Bee Cave is about five miles away. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this beautiful home being built by Austin City Custom Homes. If you've got any questions on it, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final slide. I'm a realtor promoting the area and I do a lot of helping people moving from out of state to this wonderful part of Texas. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now, bye. All right, we're here at Treaty Oaks. Not many people here today because it is two o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday. And I'm not even sure they're open, but uh, let's go see what they got going on. All right, now I've been out here with my family before and it was a great time coming out here to Dripping Springs. Like I said, their bourbon is tasty um, in one of their tasting rooms. I definitely recommend their Treaty Oaks Old Fashioned. Uh, it was just delicious. Um, and that's their tasting room. Yep, closed today. So like I said, I'm not sure if this place is even open but uh their cocktail bar got restrooms back there and when this place is open oh ghost hill ranch that's one of their that's their favorite bourbon that i had but uh this place is just hopping with people music being played and yeah we just had a great time coming out here to this part of texas there's the where they can put a live band in the back of that truck trailer so really cool little bonus feature for what's going on in this part of Texas. All right, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Take care now.